Hello, this is a tutorial for people who want to create HTML files uh, for your own website. So first you're going to need two applications in particular. I'm working on a Mac, so these are perfect for Macintosh and Mac OS X. First you want to get a program called Smoltron. Create a new document. This will be almost your uh, pad. This is where you'll write all your HTML. And the cool thing about Smoltron is it will color code all your blocks of code according to what you save it as. So you could also program JavaScript or CSS in here, but I like to do HTML. And it will color code all that as well. Next, what you want is something called CSS Edit. Now CSS Edit comes with a nice little box here, almost like Smoltron. You can add your own styles here that'll help you out if you're not very good at CSS and then it will also provide a preview based of what Smalltron and CSS edit do together alright so what you first want to do is create your HTML file how to do this as most of you should know is start off with an HTML tag leave about three spaces and put slash HTML the way HTML works is there's an opening tag right here and there's a closing tag right here and in between you can put more code. So here you want to put head slash head. Next you want to put body slash body. Very easy. In head this is where you will keep what uh, the browser will display like titles or your favicon which is a lot like this except in a web browser and uh, where you'll also keep your uh, style sheets linked to it. Here's your body, this is what will display so if you put a uh, paragraph here P is for paragraph and you say hello world then this will display and in the head you can put title Hello world slash title. So this will display. So why don't we save that to our desktop here and let's save it as my code.html. Save. There we are. And see Smoltron, now that it knows it's an HTML file, we'll color code all this. So we'll color code these tags all blue and it will color code the text normal black and then if we decide to add a file here then we can go down to mycode.html preview that so here is where you will find your paragraph right there and here's where you will find your title right here so hello world and hello world they correspond with this, hello world, hello world. Um, next, if you want to do something else, you say, hello world, uh, my name is Ned, and you say that, then this will automatically refresh. So my name is... Uh, Paul, save it, we'll change over here. Simple enough, right? So here's just the paragraph form, and here's this. Next what CSS does is you can style all this. Normally for beginners what they would do is say uh, paragraph style oh, style equals, and then they would put something in there so color is black now that won't show up well, color is red there we are then when they save it, color will show up red here but if you do something else is you can link it to a style sheet so then you can say ID is red 
Now, as you see, you can't see on any of it. It's under the code. But if you do something here, you do ID red, and it will add, CSS that it will add brackets around it. Then you can do color is red, and this goes really quickly because it will guess what you're typing. Then you can file save as desktop. What's normally good to do with these is to create a new folder. Why don't we name it my website? Create. What you want to do is you want to then go inside this folder and save it as uh, my CSS. That's yes, that's CSS. There we are. Now I got my CSS.CSS, which looks kind of messy. Then if you go to Finder, and you like the HTML that you have just written, you can go here and find my code, then move it into my website. Now as you see, now it can't find it. So what you should do is go to my code, open it up. Now what we want to do is link this, to this. What you want to do is go up into your head here, why don't we make a little bit more room to work with, and you want to start off with a link tag. Now links in the head don't have to be closed, they're just single. So you want to put rel and style sheet. Next you want to put type text slash CSS href and this will be the destination of yours so what do we name ours? we named ours my CSS that CSS that will be the location now since we didn't put a file like this then this will be relative so this will have to be in the same folder as this which we did put it in finally you want to put title so you can change it in like Firefox and such add your closing tag there let's just put title as uh, normal then you want to save you want to save as file save file save as you want to go down because Smoltron hasn't caught up with it yet, and save. Place that, it's the same thing, then this will pop up. Now the cool thing about CSS edit is, unlike tags that are embedded, like if we put style equals color blue, then it would do blue. But here we can automatically say yellow and it will go yellow. We could do orange, it will go orange. And the cool thing about style sheets is you don't have to copy all the embedded uh, code. You can make a new page and then if you want a paragraph that's red you don't have to put style color red. You can just put ID red. Then if you decide later that you don't want it to be red, you want it to be um, purple. Then you can just change it in the style sheet and it'll go across all the pages, which makes style sheets very essential. So that's your introduction to style sheets in HTML. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it can help you. Thanks for watching.